actually my first car mm. my first car in life um I bought BMW X5. Eish. Yes, that was my first car. painting. <laughs> yes, painting. You guys, first and painting. One, and one painting. Yeah. Hi guys, thank you so much for tuning in today. In today's episode, you're joined by a very, very special guest. He's a painter and he's Kenyan. His art talks about... Um, emerging issues, current affairs, things like politics, things about the COVID pandemic. It's just so interactive um, and it's amazing artwork. As you can see behind me, we have some of his work and today he's going to join us to tell us more about his style of painting, where you can get his art and even how you should price your art if you're a painter. So welcome so much. We are at the beautiful Rainbow Ruiru Resorts, which is strategically located along the Nairobi Tika super highway in Ruiru. Uh, in this place we have rooms, we have deluxe rooms, we have VIP rooms, they even have internet services and even they even have an airport shuttle in case you need to travel from the hotel to the airport. They have a restaurant, they have a fully stocked bar, they even have uh, health facilities in, like, including a spa, a gym and swimming. So uh, this is a place that you can come and relax, have a staycation, pass by, have a date. They have amazing food at their restaurant. They have amazing facilities. They even have a swimming pool, guys. So make sure you come and visit this place. It's very, very affordable. You can get different rooms from a single room, a VIP, even a twin bedroom. So um, you guys visit this place and you can find all this information on their website at the RiruRainbowResort.com. Welcome, guys. Thank you so much for joining us today. Karibu sana to the show. It's a pleasure. Maybe you can introduce yourself and tell us what you do. Uh, my name is Pascal Chuma. Uh, Chuma one over one. Yes. Yeah. That's my brand. Uh -huh. Yes, uh, I'm a creative soul mm -hmm. from Bobby Art Center. I'm a professional artist. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, when sure. did you start painting? I started painting in 2010 uh -huh. as a full-time painter. Yeah. Yes. So you've done it professionally for over a decade now? Yes. Ah, okay. Yeah. So is it something you grew up with? Is it a talent or it's an interest you developed later in life? Uh, okay. The, uh, there's some elements in it, like there is the talent, yeah. number one, uh -huh. and then there is that interest mm -hmm. and the passion. Yeah. That's passion that drives art. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. So okay. it's something that you, you just felt you had since uh, you were young. Yes, yes, yes. Ah, okay. Yes. Tell us a bit about your childhood. Where did you grow up and... Uh, yeah. Actually, I was <laughs> born in a rural area. <laughs> then uh, I came to the city as uh -huh. Sharks. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> then I came to, uh, to town to go to college. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, so I studied where? fine arts in uh, Oko Kisi. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So then I came to the city. That's when I came to go to college. Mm -hmm. I studied art. Then I went to. Uh, after that, I went to employment, and later, uh, I uh, I decided to, to to start an art center. Mm -hmm. Yes, to em empower young people. Okay. Just to offer them skills. Yeah so that they can be able to express themselves mm -hmm. and are living through art. Okay. Mm -hmm. So at what point did you decide that, you know, now I don't want to be employed anymore, I want to start my own thing? Yes, what was it uh, that informed that decision? You know, uh, when I was in employment, I wasn't comfortable. Okay. I wasn't enjoying what I was doing. Yeah. It was like, uh, um, yeah, my soul wasn't there. Yeah. Sorry. Uh -huh. So I had to 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 think twice yeah. about my future uh -huh. with the arts. Then there are some people of the talent, like children and the youth. While I was uh, doing my creative process yeah. of art, mm -hmm. when I was actually carrying my painting to to deliver to a client, mm -hmm. children used to stop me and look at what I've painted. Yeah. <laughs> In doing so, uh, then the ideas they have the interest. Yeah. Then uh, they were coming to my house yes. for art lessons, kiasi, yeah. to mentor them for a while. Then as the number was growing, mm. so I decided when uh, the house was small, I had to uh, look for a space, yeah. or a conducive space where they can come and uh, maybe during weekends, yeah. 
they get some skills yeah. they express themselves i give them that freedom mm -hmm. yeah and then they grow uh after expressing themselves they can also find uh, a way mm -hmm. in the future to earn a living through yeah. art okay yes, yes. so that's why now you made the decision to do it full time yes okay and behind us i see very very beautiful paintings um mm, sure. how would you describe your style of painting uh my style is, uh, <laughs> is uh, okay. I invented my style uh, in 2010. Yeah. Uh, yes, I call it Chumaisim style. Mm -hmm. Chumaisim. Chumaisim style. Mm -hmm. Yes, which is uh, an individualistic genius style. Okay. That emphasizes on feelings. Ah. Yes, compositional approaches. Yeah. Uh, emotional inspiration. Uh -huh poetic imagination, yeah. like <laughs> sensuous texture, uh -huh. and the freaking network of color expression. Yeah. So I love colors, mm -hmm. if you can just see on yeah, the pieces. Yeah, it's very colorful, yeah. Yeah, sure. Do you do like black mother. and white or? Uh, oh, they're monochrome. Monochrome, No, 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 yeah. no, no, no. I, d uh, I, I used to do when I was uh, like, uh, I used to, uh, to, to do that. Yeah. But now when it happens uh, like uh, for a specific story, mm -hmm. Uh, there's that calling of specific uh, mix of color that yeah. I should use yeah. to express my point. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So monochromatic, I used to work on it. Mm -hmm. Now I work on polychrome. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. So mm. um, I see all your paintings. It's mm. like they have a story. Yes, they do. What's what's what what is it that inspires you to do this kind of paintings? Because not everyone else is doing it. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, uh, some come like, as a result of my dream, uh, life experience, okay. the environment I live in. Yeah. Uh, uh, the people of uh, I get like uh, like what I see in this world. Yeah. What's happening in this world? So I try to I like that. Mm -hmm. uh, I use my art to solve problems yeah. that affect people, mm -hmm. and the beauty. I work on female forms. Yeah. If I want to tell a story, like now for second that, that one, mm -hmm. uh, the title is uh, uh, is about. Uh, Let us show it uh, to our uh, audience. Uh, okay. Let me bring it so you can uh, tell uh, us. Okay. Okay. The story. Mm -hmm. So Chuma, tell us the story behind this painting. Uh, uh, actually, uh, the, the lady mm -hmm. uh, has a dream. Yeah. Uh, it's about an environment. Mm -hmm. You know, it is Kenya, yeah. right? Yeah. And uh, I talk about a drought. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I like this story of what is happening in the northeastern of Kenya, mm -hmm. where the dry drought affects the life, uh, li the livelihood of people. Yeah. Uh, so the lady is thinking of. Uh, of uh, planting, uh, harvesting rainwater. Yeah. There is, you can see there is rainwater. Oh, yeah, the flow, water, yeah. the flow, mm -hmm. right? You yeah. can fold your fingers. Yeah. So instead of the water going to waste mm -hmm. during the floods, mm -hmm. there's a way of making the uh, the uh, gabions. Okay. Yes, to collect water, mm -hmm. so they use it in irrigation. Yeah. And there, on that corner, mm -hmm. they want to uh, to plant uh, weather-resistant trees. Oh, okay. Yes. So I gave it a title, mm -hmm. Rainmaker's Dream. Rainmaker's Dream. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I see you've used a lot of colors. There's yes. orange, there's blue. Yes. What does What do all these colors mean? The, um, actually, uh, you can see I've used tried to use warm colors yeah. and cool colors. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm. Especially where you see water, yeah. I use cool color yeah. to emphasize on uh, the uh, uh, this is drought mm -hmm. and this is the rainy season. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. So I try to uh, uh, to in, I use color to interact with the story I want to convey. Okay. So if you can see, like here, there is a pot, mm -hmm. for example. Oh yeah. That's pot for irrigation. Yeah. You, you, you like, see, yeah. Yes, she wants to people to do irrigation. Yeah. So, but you, it doesn't have to be direct. You see the pot, mm -hmm. but you have to take some time <laughs> to yeah. get the support there. Yeah. Then the eyes, the expression of a lady. Mm hmm It's a beautiful lady. Very the beautiful. eyes tell a story. <laughs> yes, eyes yeah. tell a story uh -huh. on what she feels. Yeah. Yes. So but she's it, just dreaming, yes, thinking dreaming, about yes, how yeah. to make the environment better exactly. for herself. Exactly. It's a beautiful dream. Okay. Yes. Oh, mm -hmm. this is wow. This is very. Thank brilliant. you. And then we have this. Uh, if she has slid her elbow mm -hmm. on a on a on a log on a log, mm -hmm. yeah. So people have cut trees, which a is very wrong. Trunk. Yes, oh, a tree okay. trunk. Yes. 
Oh wow. So, yeah. This is awesome. Thank you. Um do you have maybe you could tell us mm. as we continue with the interview. Mm -hmm. Maybe you could tell us um so far what's your favorite painting and what was it about? My uh, yes, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> my actually or I love all my paintings. Yeah. There's that one I did for COVID, mm -hmm. during COVID, yeah. the struggle, the prayer, uh, prayer and the supplication. Yes. And uh, 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 yes. And then uh, also this one, this painting okay. is also my favorite. I did about uh, the Russia. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, the title is about through the Fungus's lies. Mm -hmm. <sighs> yes. Through Guys, the fungus this, lies. this painting has Putin on it, and it's very interesting. Yes. Uh, maybe Chuma, tell us what's going on here. Uh, actually, it is uh, about truth, fungus lies. Yeah. Like this person, uh, the Putin, yeah. actually is lying. He has a special interest. Yeah. In uh, the war. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, about his invasion. Yeah. To uh, on uh, Ukraine. Yeah. So his in intentions are not. Is only a madman mm. who can do what he's doing, mm -hmm. killing people, yeah. disabling children, the economy of the country, yeah. children, women, mm -hmm. making everything. Uh, it, it's like hell. Yeah. You know, in this world, there is a, like, uh, for those who, who maybe, uh, who are in a religion, yeah. there is the Ten Commandments mm -hmm. that yes. guide the people. Yeah. Yes, not to kill. Not mm. to kill. Like you know, uh, commandment number five. No, mm. you don't have to kill. Don't kill. But he kills people. And then uh, his interest mm -hmm. is wealth, earthly things, yeah. which is not right. All right. And then he doesn't know how long we really live on this yeah. earth. All right. Yeah. But no, it's not good. And then I said for. Uh, and then I, I've talked about uh, SDG, yeah, Sustainable Development Goals, mm -hmm. yes. And then in a, a country that is in war, there is no Sustainable Development Goals. Yeah. So there's, and, and there is a failed dreams yeah. in such a kind of countries. Mm. So I've used the daughter of the people. Okay, so this is the daughter of yes, the people. Yes, of the people, mm -hmm. yes. Who is actually giving uh, Putin serious <laughs> medication, right? This is a surgery. Yes, uh, surgery, surgery. Yeah. <laughs> because, he has, <laughs> because he has to fail, he has to fail to think. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So that, uh -huh. so that he can stop war. Mm. Uh, it is uh, war is evil in the first century, mm. so we don't have to uh, like focus on war yeah but we need peace yeah yeah for okay. any country to thrive mm -hmm. then there's a door here mm. uh which has uh, actually a message there's a candle here yeah yes uh a candle uh, a candle melts by giving us light mm. right yeah so it's a sacrifice yeah that we need people need to do yeah so that they live in peace okay. in unity mm. all right yeah so so that they love each other mm -hmm. you know love love is so powerful yeah and you see men are the ones who, who start a war yes the women are the they solution are very peaceful, yes yeah. and the women are the solution mm. yes okay wow this is mm. awesome um thank you all your all your, all your paintings mm. uh chuma yes. all of them they have a message yes. a very a very specific message yes. that yes. affects humanity yeah, and the sure. stories that are going on exactly. how important is it for you as a painter to tell these stories through your art uh I feel, baby. I feel, I feel, uh, I feel good. Yeah. Yes. I develop that what you call feel good hormones. Uh -huh. when I'm doing, <laughs> yeah. Yes. When I'm doing uh, such kind of stories of humanity, mm -hmm. love, female forms. You know, I want the world is beautiful. Yeah. It is as who polluted the world. Mm -hmm. So, uh, like, actually, I feel happy when I write stories that are affecting people. Mm -hmm. uh, I uh, I have to communicate about them. Yeah. I have to offer solutions yes. in my painting. Mm -hmm. The problem and the solution, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. How can we solve that? That's why you get most of my clients love the way I execute my stories yeah. on my canvas. It's very, spe it's yes. very specific, and mm. it make when you look at the painting, you just mm. want to stand there and internalize the message sure. of the painting, which sure. is very. I find it very special mm -hmm. because I find most painters just do it for. Mm. decoration decoration yes. purposes yes. Uh, maybe you could tell us mm. <coughs> because in kenya i find like the audience hasn't really embraced art mm -hmm. how is the reception for you uh actually people uh there is art illiteracy in, <laughs> in kenya literacy yes uh -huh. uh, uh, people don't value art they yeah. don't know what art is mm -hmm. and they don't spend uh time in uh, art hangouts yeah 
So they see, so they can learn more, they interact mm -hmm. with the artist and they learn more about art mm -hmm. and what we do. Mm -hmm. So majority of the people don't understand what we do the way we do. Yeah. Uh, you are a writer. Yes. You are an artist. Yeah. But people don't actually understand what they you do. They actually don't read that much. They don't yeah. read much. Yeah. Uh, so like, uh, the challenge is uh, people don't, they keep themselves busy, mm -hmm. sometimes doing nothing, mm -hmm. and they don't know that there is life in art. Yeah. But they, uh, like, art resists death. Mm. Art is therapeutic. Yeah. In art, you forget the past in a it's format, yeah. into factory setting. Yeah. You feel good. In art, there is your story. Yeah. In art. In art, there is like, like do you know, like uh, in schools, mm -hmm. You get like, uh, I don't know whether they are teachers or what they call themselves, that they, they lie to children that when I grow up, become a doctor, uh, a, lawyer. a lawyer. And they don't know what, you know, that's misleading children. Yeah. Instead of telling that child, when you grow up, what challenges will you solve? Mm. Not becoming a doctor, mm. nonsense. <laughs> the thing is, yeah. the thing is, build hospitals. Yeah. When I grew up in Bill hospitals, mm -hmm. people could access uh, free health care. So that's the advantage politicians take. Yeah. They lie to people that uh, health care is going to be free. Yeah. After they clinch to power, there's nothing like that. Yeah. So the child should not, like I grew up, become a lawyer, I'm mm -hmm. a pilot. Get your own planes, buy them, mm -hmm. employ people. All right? Yeah. Uh, not becoming a pilot, that's a lie. Mm -hmm. Not becoming a lawyer, mm -hmm. that's a lie. But how you, you how are you going to defend humanity okay. you hire a lawyer to help the needy people who have been oppressed yeah who cannot access uh, justice so that's the work of you not like uh, you lying to children like i can do that not unless in a particular you see a talent in, in a child yeah all right yeah the talent is like the one you have the one i have mm -hmm. and everyone else if this football with music yeah you invest in that mm. you invest but don't lie to children that when you grow up become this mm. we used to be told that when we were in school so the most important thing, what challenges will you solve when you grow up? That's People true. need clean water. Yeah. So when I grow up, I build balls or dams mm. for people and animals to Something access water. Something that impacts the whole community. Exactly, it impacts oh, the community. Yeah. Not the guessing thing. Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And you know what I love most about art? Mm -hmm. it's, it's, a, it's a global language. Are you sure? I sure. can see a painting done by a Japanese uh, painter, but yes. I would understand it even uh, if you don't speak the same language, absolutely. which I feel like is it's what you're doing. Yes. And um, you've been fortunate enough to display your art in international galleries. Yes, Maybe absolutely. you can tell us a bit about that. Yes, uh, I'm happy uh, for my art. Actually, I tell stories that affect, that are uh, from Africa, Yeah. what people go through. Yes. Uh, and about myself. Yeah. So it is my obligation, it's my right mm -hmm. as, an artist, as an artist to express myself, to tell stories that are in Africa mm -hmm. to the world. So, and some stories are global, mm -hmm. they affect everyone. Yeah. Right? Like the pandemic, I yeah. have to talk about it. Mm -hmm. If it is corruption, I must be number one to speak it out. Yeah. How it is done mm -hmm. and the solutions to mm -hmm. that and educate people through that and ins inspire them. So uh, basically, uh, my art got into international market yeah. because of the stories I do, okay. like uh, the story about maternal health, mm. girl child education, uh, and then there is these issues of children's rights, mm. right to education, mm. healthcare, food, shelter, so all that stuff. Mm. So when I talk about that. Someone say, hey, there's someone who does good art. Mm. And then you get like, Refined. yeah, yes, oh. yes. Uh, people share your work, yeah. who you are. And then they start collecting your work. Mm. Yes. And now the million dollar question. Mm -hmm. Does art pay? Very well. <laughs> it pays. <laughs> it pays. You're well. not complaining. No, no. I can't complain because I can't complain. Uh -huh. You know, we live in, a, in, a, in an environment. We hide we, uh, we hide what we earn from art. Yeah. We, we need to hide because of the environment we live in, mm. which is not secure. So, so we keep lying. We keep lying, saying we don't sell. Yeah. We don't, we don't sell. Oh, but okay. we keep it to ourselves. So it's a good job. Eh? It is. It is. Everyone who has a talent invest. Invest in, in your in art. Art. Ah. art pays very well. Mm -hmm. 
when your art it depends with the art you create that one will give you uh, the light yeah uh, at the end of the tunnel okay yeah so so art pays very well it pays very well when it gets the right client okay the right person yeah so if i wanted to buy say a painting like this mm. you know i'm not just buying the painting mm -hmm. i'm also buying the message the painting yes. carries yes the piece uh, of my soul the piece of your soul that sure. you have decided to share with the world because exactly. you don't have to yes. but you decide to share it yes um how much will something like this you've said that art pays yes and art it pays art. very well yes so i should quit my job and do painting <laughs> yeah i do painting <laughs> so now uh, a painting like this Mm. How much will it cost to buy? Um, actually, this piece, mm. uh, I didn't do it uh, to sell. Uh -huh. This one. Uh -huh. are, these are my private collections. Really? Yes, yes, yes. You I love this put piece. You in your house? Uh, uh, yes, yes. It is in history. <laughs> okay. Like, people will know something happens in, in, in 2022. Uh -huh. Right? Mm. There, was, there was war yes. between these. Yes. So it's like... Uh, that has record. affected the yes, whole world. Yeah, the whole world. Mm. It's a pandemic. What is a pandemic? A whole pandemic, yeah. World. So, uh, and it is primitive in 21st century mm. for someone to to kill people. Yeah. Life is more important. It's very wrong, yeah. Yes. So, mm -hmm. this one, actually I'm not uh, selling. There are some pages I don't sell. Oh. The, yes, I keep them. For myself, myself, for yourself, myself. Eh? yes, yes, oh, yes. Oh, wow, yes, this is amazing. This mm. is so, so, so amazing. So, Chuma, you mm. know, in the in the normal Kenyan uh, family setting, yes, art is not very practiced in many families. Mm -hmm. How did your family receive this, you know, this new direction of yours to pursue painting full time? Uh, uh, my family actually is very supportive, yeah, since I was, uh a kid uh -huh. uh, I used to uh, like to re regress regress when I was in in primary school mm -hmm. so the teacher told my father that uh, that I should uh, stop drawing and I focus on uh, uh, on exams mm -hmm. uh, but my parents especially my father and uh, my uncle had to support me like my uncle paid James Akoya paid uh, my school fees. Okay. So initially I was uh, doing art just to improve my skills. Yeah. And then I didn't know that art sells. I just wanted to <laughs> to just uh, like to focus on what I'm good at. Yeah. And then uh, I came to realize that uh, my family didn't know actually the light towards the end of being a, a great artist. Mm. They didn't know. Mm. Then when I started earning a living, <laughs> the uh, perception, the perception yes, changed. changed. Uh -huh. I used to support them. Yeah. I support anyone who's, who needs support. Anyone? Yes, who needs support. <laughs> yes, yes, in our, in our community, okay. in the we live in, people have challenges. Mm. So like art, you feel you can help someone without, feel, uh, without uh, not feeling pain. Yeah. Then he, um, uh, actually, my first car, mm. my first car in life, um, I bought BMW X5. Eish. Yes, that was my first car. painting. <laughs> yes, painting. You guys, first and painting. One, and one painting. Yeah. So, that was my dream car. So, okay. people could not believe they that could I could get that. They could not believe it. I yeah. that. Okay. So, then they realized art, and my friend said, and I want to also, I'm an artist, I want to go back to painting. So, yeah, yeah, sure, you can. It's your thing. It's yeah, your thing, though. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, uh, that's when people started to, to realize that art is very, very important. Mm. important. So, my family, I help them, I pay their bills. Okay. Uh, uh, it's it's, it's a uh, talent pace. Okay. Talent pace. Yeah. Um. And talent in the whole world, beat music, beat writing the world. Yeah. So it pays very well. Okay. Yeah.